What's up everyone, Mark is back again, and today I want to talk about the exciting news that RIP announced with their Aries cable attachment recently on Instagram and in YouTube, and I think it's a pretty interesting product. A lot of us have been looking for something like this in the past, so this announcement is pretty exciting for me, and I wanted to hear what everyone else thinks about this. It's pretty unique design, but I knew that something like this could exist if they use the small space between the 16-inch cross members, and that's exactly what they've done. So they've incorporated a selectable dual stack system, and you can see that there are pulley slides that go up and down the front posts. So this obviously requires a six post configuration. If you don't have that, that's an additional expense but you can see how the attachment is attached to the rear cross member where the rep logo opening plate would originally go. And there are two posts that come from the rear cross member which help with the dual pulley system. And this is a benefit because most of us are lacking in the dual pulley system set up in our home gyms. The lat low row is great, but it's a single pulley system. So it eliminates the possibility of using dual cables for you know combined lifts or pulls or doing a unilateral movements like this example shows here where he's pulling with the left while maintaining the tension with the right. You can see the dual stack comes from one side of the covered assembly that goes where the lat low row is attached. You can also see in the back of the upright cross member, the cable goes over the cross member. So the pulley system and the cables go through the holes in the 16 inch cross members. Thankfully they use grommets to prevent any kind of chafing of the cable, but they go across. So it allows you to still maintain the use of your multi-grip pull-up bars and other attachments you may have. And they say that the length of the cable is adjustable. So you can slide the actual pulley connections on the front post up and down. You'll see some other diagrams here that come up from the video that show the pulley systems attached at the lowest point on the front uprights. But you can see from this diagram here that it looks like it uses a very similar rear stabilizer bar that's required with a lat low row, except that the plates are mounted at a different location to allow that bar to sit flush on the floor underneath the weight stack assembly, which has a nice rep cover with that mountain logo that they like to use. You can see pulleys on either side of that rep cover, which allows you to use the pulley system from the lowest point, like for low rows, or if you wanted to use bicep curls from the lowest position, which is a nice feature. There are multiple pulley points. It's a little blurry from this image here, but you can see how the cables go through the holes in those rear 16 inch cross members. And like I said, they have rubber grommets. Here you can see another new device that they have, the multi-grip bar that they're releasing. It seems like they have the accessory attachment that connects to the dual pulley system and lets you connect to a single point, which is kind of nice because I have multiple accessory handles already that exist. And if I were to consider something like this, I don't want to have to spend money on additional accessory handles to go with this. You can see the dual stacks in use here, no dual rails that go through the left and right side of the plates. It looks well thought out, looks well constructed, and it's a really nice feature. Here you can see this example of, of being able to do pec flies. You can do chest presses from this position as well. You can also stand and do dual arm pulls where you kind of go across the chest. So you can work that inner portion here. You see him doing shoulder presses from the very lowest point. And this is where I say, if you had something like ISO arms or spider arms or other J cups on the front posts, you're gonna have to consider repositioning those often while you use that. Here you can see this is being used from the upper position, but you can see the pulley that goes at the top mount of the rear 16 inch cross member. Pretty interesting system. Unfortunately, the price has been quoted at being between two and $3,000, depending on shipping and steel costs at the time. So that's something to consider, especially if you already have a lat low row and a four post rack like I do. It ends up being closer to 3,000, maybe more than that when you include everything that's needed. Another nice addition that I think a lot of people are excited about is the clear coat benches. Here they have the AB5200 in a nice polished kind of steel with a clear coat. Interestingly enough, they use some contrast pieces in black along with the logo plate to kind of make it really look a little nicer. Of course, we know where the motivation from that comes from with Rogue's new uh, AB2 benches that come with the stainless steel pieces but it's nice that they offered. I just hope that rep takes this opportunity to also fix the slack that creates that wobble in the rear bench as I identified in my Fix Your AB5200 bench in the past. So hopefully they're not just creating a cosmetic improvement or offering, but they're also taking the opportunity to fix that flaw because that is an issue that a lot of people have complained about and really is an easy issue to fix as I identified in my video. They also offer the flat benches like the FB5000 in the clear coat finish, which is nice. And there are a few other products, but I just wanted to keep this video as short as possible. So please tell me what your thoughts are. Let me know what you think about the new airy stackable pulley system in addition to your thoughts on the clear coat benches and other devices that you want to talk about.
Again, as always, I appreciate your time, and I'll catch you on the next one.